also uh, last June 9, during the celebration of Philippine China Friendship Day, uh, FNCCCII organized organized a uh, uh, celebration by a Zoom. At that time, the economy wasn't open yet. Um, uh, all the presidents, past and president, uh, present were speakers. Ambassador Huang also spoke. In our highlight uh, information, we invited Jose Marichan to perform, and he graciously not only uh, performed, but he said he will not charge for that special event, that June 9 event. So we are very grateful he supports bilateral uh, relations and friendship. Thank you very much, Ambassador Wang Zinya. While waiting, I don't know if Ambassador is okay. GMA7 journalist JP Sorrento has a question. Ambassador, it's okay with you. He is excited to ask about the trip of Hong Kong Marcos to China. He is asking any updates. Mr. JP Sorrento, message here just in case. I don't know if uh, Ambassador is uh, ready to comment about. Uh, I'll read. Uh, he was just requesting here if okay with Ambassador. Uh, Mr. J.P. Soriano of GFA Center, uh, Ambassador Huang, can you please share some details of President Bong Bong Marcos' uh, state visit to China in January 2023? What are the main prospects and goals of the two governments? Uh, what uh, do the two governments or the Chinese government hope to accomplish in this state visit? Thank you uh, for this question. Uh, first of all, I would like to refer you to a seminar yesterday, uh, which was held in uh, uh, Ateneo de Manila University, in which uh, I joined uh, the Assistant Secretary of the Department of Foreign Affairs in delivering a speech about uh, China affecting relations. Now, we are working very hard to prepare for such a visit. And uh, you know, we have uh, come a long way in the past six years in our bilateral relations. Build on what we have achieved in the past six years. We are working to deepen our cooperation in various fields to bring more tangible benefits to our two peoples. And uh, this is a millennium of relationship. It's not only a century of friendship, but a millennium of friendship. And uh, we need to infuse more competence through that we share the visits through the interaction between our two presidents to more people to people to share with us. Last month, President Xi Jinping had a very good meeting with President Bob Marcos Jr. in Bangkok, in which we have reached a lot of consensus on the future development and the future course of development of our bilateral relations. I think it has laid a very good foundation for their future deep, even deeper interaction. Between the two head of states. So uh, as for us, we have identified for areas of cooperation, namely agriculture, infrastructure, energy, and people to people exchanges. And we believe the third thing now is on the way to this modernization. And we are also pursuing our own Chinese modernization. In this process, we can become their partners in helping each other in supporting each other. So in all the areas, we will develop even 
from those uh, relationships in the future. And uh, apart from that, we also need to handle some differences in a proper manner to make sure that our relationship will not be defined by specific differences. So that our cooperation and our overall relationship will not be affected by specific differences. I think we will have a develop more maritime cooperation in the future so that we can promote more trust and understanding between other sides. So we expect there will be more constructive, more fruitful interaction between our two presidents. And let's look forward to that. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ambassador Watts.